Hi everyone, welcome to week two. So really excited this week to introduce our group project that we will be working on. Um, first, let me um, go through our lecture reading. So you have two chapters to read from our textbook and you'll find, um, as you probably learned last week, that our chapters are fairly short, fairly straightforward. Um, that's why I really enjoy this textbook. Very straightforward. Um, the authors do a great job of explaining the concepts um, in detail and hopefully you're enjoying learning from this textbook. So we are going through chapters five and six today. Um, again, you can find the PowerPoint um, lectures um, appear at these at the files um, at the at the top of the screen and then the YouTube recordings um, again the YouTube videos are the exact same as the PowerPoint narrations um, but they do um, download much faster um, you're just not able to go through slide by slide and take notes but again downloads much faster so this week um, and to get us ready for our um, our interprofessional um, our interprofessional project that we'll be working on for the next three weeks. Um, we are starting the co um, Collaboration and Communication in Healthcare series. Um, this is offered by UC San Francisco. And um, this is a great series. We'll be watching three of the videos this week and the remaining um, next week. But it's a great um, it's a great course that involves a lot of different multidisciplinary faculty. Um, it's led by a, a woman who is a medical doctor, but also they go through public health, nursing, um, some of the. Um, you know, some ancillary fields as well. So um, make sure you take a look at these videos. Um, as always, the supplemental readings as well as your lectures, um, or the supplemental videos, excuse me, as well as your lectures will be assessed in our quiz um, this week. So um, hopefully I will answer all of your um, pressing questions on this homework assignment um, in this video. But um, for your homework number one, this is our preventive care and healthcare access collaboration. Now my goal as your instructor in this class was to give you all an opportunity to work um, a, as a group to meet other classmates, but also to work in collaboration with the community partner and to work interprofessionally. Um, we know that um, now with technology, I'm sure most of you in your professional lives um, don't always sit next to, you know, sit in cubicles next to your colleagues. They may be on the East Coast. You may be working in global health where your um, target population that you're conducting research on lives in um, somewhere in Africa or you are just emailing with colleagues all day long so regardless we wanted you to get an opportunity to meet and work with um, some members out in our community um, I for this project in this this semester we're, we are working with um, an individual from San Bernardino County um, and um, so anyhow, I'm just really excited for you all to um, to work with her. Um, she is a MPH alumni, so really excited to have our alumni come back and be a part of this project. So hopefully last week in week one, you have all assigned yourselves, um, chosen your group. If you have not, um, chances are I've already selected a group for you. So what will happen this week is that um, we have a WebEx, which is just a virtual meeting scheduled on Wednesday, September 11th at 6.30 p.m. and that's Pacific time, California time. So each group member, um, so each one of you, is required to be present at that meeting. I have provided you, if you are not familiar with WebEx, you can copy paste this link that starts at Cal Baptist and ends with my name. Um, you will enter that into your web browser. Um, if you've never used WebEx before, I recommend that you log in just a few minutes early um, because we want your video to be working um, as well as your audio because you will be speaking with us and I wanna make sure you can obviously hear us. If for some reason you cannot make that meeting, please make arrangements with me prior to your scheduled meeting time. And you will also let, um, need to let your group know so that they can make um, other arrangements, take notes for you and things like that. So um, just make sure that you make arrangements with me prior to the 11th at 6.30. I don't wanna receive a bunch of emails at 6.25 that says that you can't make it unless of course there, um, you know, there is a unforeseen challenge or an emergency, but um, I really recommend that you make that time Time. Um, it should be really um, informative and um, also it's a chance for us um, 
for you to speak with me, um, though it is virtual as well as your classmates as well. So again, September 11th, Wednesday at 6.30, you'll be logging into WebEx. Should take no longer than an hour. I'm assuming many um, anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes. We'll be giving you... Um, our community partner will be just giving your, um, you an introduction of what she does, where she works in the county, um, you know, may also potentially lead to practice experience relationships. So just be open to um, different individuals that you meet throughout your program. Um, so uh, we will start there. Um, then I will give you a, um, I will give you your patient. So each one of our groups will have the, um, the same partner, we're all working with the same person um, and have the same patient, but you are creating a different type of tool. And we'll discuss all of those during your meeting um, on Wednesday. So for this homework assignment, all that's required is that you would A, attend that meeting, and second, you will submit a brief, just one to two page summary of your conversation with the community partner. Um, again, it will just be, it will be our video or a group meeting with that partner. You will include your patient's information, any comorbidities, and start brainstorming preventative, um, some potential preventative care options for the patient. And again, during that meeting is when I'll discuss some more specifics on exactly what you're looking for and looking to do with your patient. Um, again, this assignment is submitted as a group. So, um, and since you only have this one one page paper to, um, to submit this week, that's your only homework assignment, um, I really recommend that you get started early on this project. It should not take a lot of time. It was designed to be pretty quick. I just want you all to, to collaborate amongst one another, utilize our community partner um, and her skills as well. You are welcome to contact her. Um, and assign your different group members to create, um, you know, or to complete different parts of the project. So now, so this is week two. So in week four, what you are submitting is a presentation. Um, you're creating an oral presentation. So again, imagine that you are standing in front of our community partner. You're standing here in front of our boardroom or our classroom, and you are explaining your um, your findings with us. So you will submit some sort of a visual um, presentation, such as a PowerPoint, a Prezi. You can create a, um, a voice presentation on VoiceThread. Um, but the, the bottom line is that you need some sort of um, visual presentation as well as some audio. Now be really creative. You guys can even take um, a couple videos with your cell phone. Maybe you just take a walk through the community and say that you suggested that your patient um, you know, go to this park that has good lighting and um, paved sidewalks. Um, if you go, um, I receive my health care at Kaiser. They have um, they have all of these these walking paths there. They also have exercise equipment that anyone can use um, outside of their buildings. You know, those would be kind of a tips on how to access that sort of recreational equipment as well. So just again, be creative in, in demonstrating and um, and discussing what your recommendations are for your patient. So not all um, group members need to be part of your oral presentation. Um, however, each must have a hand in creating some part of that final presentation. So if two of the group members are working on the PowerPoint and the other two or three are working on the voice or the audio component, that would be great as well. Um, if, the, if one group member is solely working on revisions and editing and that's how you have distributed your work, that works out great as well. Um, keep in mind that you will also all be completing a peer evaluation at the end of this project. So um, make sure that you are communicating and pulling your weight um, properly in your group. Okay, so back to back to this week, homework number one, come to the meeting on the 11th at 6.30, should take no longer than an hour. And then as a group, you are each just submitting one, um, very brief one to two page summary of our meeting, um, and then include, like I mentioned here in Blackboard, your patient's information, any comorbidities, and a brainstorming of preventative um, care options for your patient. Finally, we have a quiz for um, week two. It's going to cover your lecture reading as well as the um, interprofessional practice course, um, those three YouTube videos. 
So reach out to me if you have any questions, um, any concerns, if you have any creative ideas that you would like to bring into this, um, this project, I would love to hear them. Um, if you work in a, um, in a primary care setting, or perhaps you work with preventative care, um, and you, you know, you just have some ideas that you want to use, just come talk to me. And I would love to hear your thoughts. And maybe we can, you know, me mesh those things together. All right. Have a great week, everybody. Um, we're already in week two. Just looking forward to um, this class will fly by, I'm telling you. So looking forward um, to seeing you all um, at our meeting and um, and the rest of uh, and the remainder of all the work that you'll do in this class. Have a great week.